yeah a very good evening to you watching me out there my name is fando aziki aziki today i'll be talking on a very important topic though very brief the topic is the fast access to success the fast access to success however if today is a very first time or see my video or my message please do subscribe share to friends and groups you belong i can assure you when you subscribe you will discover for yourself the secrets that transform lives of great men and women. You also learn the values, the principles, the secrets and instructions tested and trusted of great men and women of all times. Let's get started. The topic is very brief, but has a lot of things. Today, it is very, very obvious that nobody plan to fail or to be addressed as a failure. But there is a missing link between those that succeeded and those who did not succeed. So we are going to look at this very access, what happened along the way. We all want to succeed or to be successful. How many of us prepared to succeed. So success waits for those who are prepared or come to those who are prepared. But I want to draw your attention to a very fundamental secret. If really, really you want to succeed, know it now that success never come to life of any man in any short form. Rather, it comes to men and women who are fully prepared. That is success for you. There is no shortcut. When you have this in your mind, you will succeed. If you have this in your mind, you will succeed. Success come to those who are well prepared. So let us look at one of the assets. The women access had what will make you to enter where you will take to enter a particular place that is why i call it access how do you enter where and how so the where and how is what we are trying to address so one of the key access to success is adequate preparation. I said success come to those who are prepared. I am emphasizing on the preparation. When you are adequately prepared, carefully prepared, properly prepared, 
diligently prepared. Success will come to you. Success is a product of preparation, adequate preparation. All great men and women of all time who succeeded or were successful because they pay a price through adequate preparation. I said and I quote, the former president of the United States of America, of blessed memory, Abraham Lincoln, he said and I quote, I will prepare and wait for my chance or opportunity to come. Go and ask any man who succeeded. He will tell you that what gave him access to that success was preparation. Preparation can take you years. Preparation can take you months. Can take you weeks and days. Can take you hours. But when you are prepared, you will assess success. Preparation gives men and women confidence. When you are prepared, you are confident to confront any environment. You are prepared to surmount every limitation along your way. But if you are not prepared, you have already planned and prepared to fail. So the missing link between the successful people and unsuccessful people is preparation. So if really, really you want to carry the banner of success, if really you want to carry the banner of success, you need to prepare. Preparation is so vast, so vast. When you have your skills, you put your skills into practice, is preparation. If you begin to deploy your knowledge in studies, is preparation. If you begin to devote your time and energy to make sure you see the end of a particular thing that will take you or that will make you become somebody or successful somebody, is preparation. Preparation made men and women outstanding and successful people. But if you fail to prepare, you have already planned halfway or full way to fail. If really, really, really you want to assess success, prepare. Preparation made men and women to serve before the kings and queen because they have the adequate knowledge. They devoted their time to prepare. You need preparation. Preparation is the key to access, to open the door of success. Planning, you need to plan to the full. You need to be reflective and strategic in planning. When you are prepared, you will know to handle unforeseen circumstances. When the opportunity comes, you will know how to utilize it. 
These are products of preparation. Preparation is the grandmother of every manifestation. If you are a footballer, for you to be successful, you need to go to practice and training. You need training. You need preparation. So when you talk of preparation, the principle of preparation is fundamental. If really you really want to succeed, make preparation your human value. One of the keys, again, is courage. When courage is found missing in your life, it's a problem. You need courage. It's the first quality in human value. Courage guarantees confidence. Courage attracts a lot of things. When you prepare and have confidence, you will succeed. We find ourselves in a society where people are helpless victims. Where people submit their destiny or begin to Take permission on how their destinies can manifest. But man with courage that have independent mind can always use courage to pursue his or her dream, even in the desert takes courage. Courage is one of the keys that you can use to assess success. Courage made men and women to go into the darkness where they see or they saw the secret that led to the manifestation of their destiny. But men without courage could not need courage. You need courage. If really, really, really you want to succeed, you need courage. I see a human value. You need courage to carry the banner of success. If really, really you want to succeed and become successful or to assess success, you need to make learning a continuous process. When you stop learning, you become old. Even if you are young, you become old. Learning Knowledge made men and women to stand out and succeed in a society where success is a scarce value. So you need success. You need to learn. Learning takes a lot of things. You need to share values, go with like-minded people, people that have the same vision with you, where you can think, consider matters from a holistic point of view, because no man is an island, and two good heads are better than one. So shared values, 
makes you to understand or have a holistic view and it's iron sharpened iron when you begin to share with people of like mind you begin to 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 begin you begin to to pick more interest and zeal in pursuit of that particular dream so you need shared values shared interest people who are serious people who are not going to demoralize you you need people to energize you you need people to motivate you very 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 important if really 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 you want to assess success you need men and women of like minds you need men and women of like minds if you really really want to assess success you must be disciplined discipline is so much so broad you must not be controlled by emotions your emotions you must be focused you must deploy your time you must have a way of life you must have a value system you must have a way of life that defines you if you are disciplined discipline also involve humility when you are humble you are going you have the power to listen all these things put together are under discipline so if really really you want to assess success you need to be disciplined like i said the topic is very short but all in compassion so i'll be meeting with you some other time this year and thank you and god bless happy weekend bye for now